All right, Bubba's, you ready for this? All right, good, yeah. All right, guys, this is going to be a first for both of us. We're now going to be looking at Helio's new UI interface for Butterflight called Pegasus. I'm really, um, I've been, I'm, I'm really excited about this. Uh, for one reason, and because I know 3.6 comes with Feed Forward, and hey, look, in the PIDs tab right here, we got our Feed Forward settings. Nice. Uh, as you see, I already put mine in there, but let's take a look at the UI. So, looks like we have on our first tab uh, version. Great, so we know what version of Butterfly we're on, and also what version of the IMU that I'm running, and this is Odin. Um, which, you know, I did try and run Starbuck, and it really sucked on my quad. And I did flash it through here, and it was super easy to do. If you want to flash any of these, so if you want to change the beta flight or update the firmware, all you got to do is click these uh, little tabs here, and it will do it for you. Pretty darn easy, actually. But nice. I, I like where this is at, and I like how it's just hanging out there on the first box. Nice. Uh, and also on the pin menu, I did notice a uh, TPA style of race flight. So if I click that and we show the TPA curves, the cool thing is, guys, if you're going to tune out the last bit of oscillation that you have that just can't go away, you're going to want to go and adjust your TPA. And the nice thing about this, and this is very flight one ish, um, the TPA is, is making your own TPA curve. And how you would read this is you can independently create a curve on both on all three terms, so your P, I, and your D. And basically here you have your throttle point, so you have 10% to 90% throttle, and how much of the PID value you'll be using at each throttle point. Now I did make a video on how to tune. TPA uh, on flight one, and since this menu is pretty much exactly the same, uh, I'm going to put that link right up here and also in the description. So if you want to know how to further tune your TPA and learn how to make a TPA curve, uh, you can find it right there. Awesome. Motors and layout. All right. It looks like we have uh, orientation assistant and motor assistant. Uh, the neat thing about this is you don't have to really worry about how you mount your flight controller anymore. You can just simply mount it in there the way you want it, run the orientation assistant, and it will figure out how it is sitting, right? Uh, so it's after it's calibrated, uh, it it already knows. You don't have to go down here into orientation and put in any degrees. It'll figure out figure it out for you. And also the wiring too. So that's what the motor assistant is there for. So no matter where you put your motors and where you wire it to the outputs, it's going to figure out, you know, how it's wired. So we don't really have to pay attention anymore to, you know, which signal pad is which we'd be able to just run the motor assistant and it will totally figure it out for you. That's really cool. I'm glad that kind of came over because that's something that was in the Flight 1 configurator and it just makes things a lot easier for people that are just getting into the hobby, so really nice, really nice. Also, it looks like we have our D-Shot protocol or ESC protocols here, what type of quad we're running, so Quad X for me, and looks like our dead bands. Nice. Ox mode looks just like our beta flight menu. Okay. Oh. Little buggy there, Helio. Rates. Okay. I actually dig it. It's nice that it's all in one page. Although, you know, as I'm looking at this, I, I think that you could actually consolidate a lot of these and put it on one page, but I get why they wanted to uh, put them on separate tabs, but still, it looks like there's a lot of choices there. 
All right, filters. Okay, so I can adjust my Q from here. The new thing here is the AF mode on the uh, three axes. And the neat thing about this is if you have uh, some type of resonance frequency that you can't tune out due to like dented props or, I mean, creased props or dented bells, um, you can activate the AF filtering mode. It stands for aggressive filtering and um, help you tame the quad down. But remember, the more filtering you add, the more latency you're going to have to. So we don't want that. But it's nice that it's there. Okay, so this is where we adjust our voltage scale. Um, I have no idea if this is correct. I just brought my CLI settings over to uh, 3.6. I'm sure it is, but um, don't hate me if that's the wrong one. <laughs> uh, ports tab, cool. So I can, I can set up my RX there and uh, also my VTX. Receiver tab, right? I got my crossfire protocol. I can select that. An RX protocol. Oh, and we got our RSSI channels and check that out. Our RC interpolations are sitting right there. I wonder if. I don't know. I don't, know. Oh, I don't see filter here. Hmm. Well, we might have to look at it later. We might have to look at it. Look at that one later. OSD menu looks like just like the Betaflight one. Great. And yep, looks like we can still drag and drop stuff. Awesome. And just select what we need to see. Great. I don't run GPS, but uh, the, the telemetry switch is on here. So you're able to switch that on and off. And oh, cool. We got all our features all in one spot. So uh, we can toggle that on or off as well. ETX settings we all know and love. Nice that it's in one place. Black box logging. Yep, looking pretty familiar. And ooh, the advanced tab. Oh, I dig that. All right, so because we got feed forward, pretty sure we got iTerm relax. Let's let's do a search for it. I like that. Sure enough. Okay, here we are. iTerm relax uh, as a feature in the new 3.6, and let's check out RC smoothing. RC smoothing. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, there we are. Here's the here's the new setting for RC smoothing. So you can use a PT1 or biquad kind of filter and able to uh, kind of further tune the flight field there. And I wonder if this has throttle boost. Throttle, yeah, throttle boost threshold, guys. Amazing. So in 3.6, what this means is we can tune our flight feel. There's a chance to, we can have more of a connected feel with our quads through this type of interface. So I've been waiting for this for a really long time to have those features from Betaflight come over to Butterfly. So this, this is really good news for us, really good news for us. And it looks like that's it. The only other thing is the CLI menu. So if you just click this bottom right-hand corner one, you're right into the CLI. So Helio, great job on the, the new UI. Uh, it looks a lot like the Flight 1 menu for sure. But the thing is, I dig the Flight 1 menu, so I really dig the Helio menu as well. I'm not so sure about the colors and... I don't know. I feel like you should be maybe consolidating some of that stuff into some of the other tabs. But I understand why you tabbed them all out, right? So people can find stuff 
a lot faster. So either way, uh, nice touch. And uh, I'm really interested in seeing this evolve um, as we uh, progress Butterfly further. So very exciting. So I guess the next thing we should do is actually fly 3.6. So let's see how that goes. Let us do this. Coochie coo. Oh, sorry. All right, guys. In true bad note in a fashion, I am just going to react to my own flight here. So let us begin. You know what? I'm shaking a little bit today. Uh, I think I need to dial in my expo a little bit, but that is totally my fault. But so far, so good. Nice and smooth. I'm really digging the flight feel right now. Very responsive. Nice snap there. I feel like I got a little bit of PID tuning ahead of me too, because I think the PIDs from 3.5 just aren't cutting it to 3.6. It's just, it's really cinematic, you know? Butterfly is just, handles stuff really well. Aliyoop! Ooh, sweet! That looked sweet. And that, that was a pretty hard drop there. Not bad uh, prop wash handling, if I say so myself. Not bad, guys. Uh, I really, really dig in 3.6, uh, especially with feed forward. It's something that I can feel for sure in the quad. And um, man, what an awesome first flight. Well, guys, special thanks to Bob is here. It's been a while since we've had something uh, this significant happen in Butterflight, so I'm glad things are moving right along. If you like this brief little overview of Butterflight 3.6 and the new Pegasus UI, give me a thumbs up and also remember to subscribe. And if you're coming here week after week and you're not subscribed, what are you doing? All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.